Let's have another example. Find the exact values of sine 135 degrees, cosine 135 degrees, and tangent 135 degrees. So again, to solve this, we're gonna need a unit circle. Okay, now we will have to locate 135 degrees. How do we do that? Well, we know that this is 90, okay? And if we add 45 to 90, that gives us 135. So if we're gonna add 45 degrees, that's here, okay? So just assume that this is a straight line. Okay, so we have that. All we need is the coordinates of that point right there, okay? So that's all we need. This is again 135 degrees, okay? So just like before, we can actually create a right triangle out of this. So we have this right triangle here, okay? So that's the right triangle. This is our Y, this is our X, okay? And again, we know that the length of the hypotenuse is 1 because that corresponds to the radius. And so all we need to do is find x and y. How do we do that? Well, we know that this is 45 degrees. And again, just the basic property of right triangles. If the angle is 45, then that means the, um, the two sides, except for the hypotenuse, the two sides are equal. Because that, if that's 45, then this is also 45 degrees right here. So x and y in this case are equal. So that means we can use the Pythagorean theorem. So that gives us r squared equals x squared plus y squared. We know what r is. r is 1, so that's 1 squared. x is x, so that's x squared. y, again, we know that y and x, they are equal, so I can just write x here. So that's x squared. So that's 1 equals x squared plus x squared will give us 2x squared. Divide both sides by 2. That gives us x squared equals 1 half. Okay? Then take the square root of both sides. That gives us x equals positive negative square root of one half and we can simplify this uh, by rationalizing this will actually give us positive negative square root of two over two okay so that's x and of course since that is x then that should also be y okay so we have x and y now we look at the quadrant that we are in we are in the second quadrant y is positive there so we're gonna take positive square root of 2 over 2 as our y value and then for x since we are in the second quadrant x is negative there so therefore x is negative square root of 2 over 2 okay so now we have our coordinates, we can just plug that in here. So square root of 2 over 2 and positive square root of 2 over 2. So therefore, sine of 135 degrees equals y, which is equal to positive square root of 2 over 2. Cosine 135 degrees equals x. That's negative square root of 2 over 2. Tangent 135 degrees equals y over x. y is square root of 2 over 2. x is negative square root of 2 over 2. This cancels out. That cancels out. So we're left with equals negative 1. So tangent of 135 degrees is negative 1. And that's it.